Hello and welcome to something a little different by Chizoidsky. This is a much requested video and it's going to be the start of a playthrough of the campaign on Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'm starting off with the tutorial now just to do a bit of a quality test really and get a feel of how many fans I've got of this. I know I've had about five people request me doing it so I'd imagine this video is going to get five views at least plus one from me so that's six so we'll see how it goes if it gets if it gets a decent amount of views, then I'll carry on with the series. If it only gets six, then I probably won't. So let's start things off. Trooper, this is a real battle, and if you mess up, you'll really end up in a world of pain. Now get out there. Game looks quite nice. I'll just let him speak. has been reported in the vicinity of Checkpoint Alpha. Get there and secure the area. Right, um, I'm playing the game on PC, as you can probably tell from how the mouse is moving. I'm playing in first person mode just because I prefer that. I know it sort of ruins Star Wars Battlefront, but I don't know, I really struggle to play it on PC in third person. I've got the game on max settings in every way, view distance is all the way up to 99, it won't let you have 100 for some reason. And I've had to turn music off and skip all the cutscenes from this recording, as the music in them is heavily copyrighted and the people who make it will just copyright strike my videos. But hopefully the characters' acting voices aren't copyrighted, as it's just someone talking, and I can have that. Droid scouts have been detected in the area. Take them out before they can report our position. So this is just sort of teaching you how to play the game. So if anyone doesn't know anything about it, it will show them what to do. Quite, I've got the game on, I believe, normal difficulty. I didn't want to turn it up to elite because, well, I'm not elite. I like to think of myself as a normal gamer. Oh, that's grenade. Nice work, clone. Just trying to work out the controls here. Didn't get word back to their army. Now, finish off that damaged Hellfire droid using your thermal detonators. All right, he wants me to use the grenades. Here's an ammo droid. That's quite, that's quite convenient. So, grenade it and till it blows up, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty good. But the droid army is headed this way. Capture the down Techno Union ship to secure a stronger foothold for our troops. Alright, so for anyone who doesn't know about this game, you have to get, like, checkpoints, because I guess some people are watching this for the new Star Wars game coming out, who've never played it before. So, you sort of capture checkpoints, which is what you like, your team can spawn from. So, they're quite important, really. Our troops need health and ammo. Go to the down Techno Union ship and switch to the engineer class at the command post there. Gosh, you're showing at me. And then you can go to them, change class. So now I'm going to change to an engineer. Good. Now get out a fusion cutter, then you repair stuff, don't worry, the whole series won't be me explaining how the game works, it's just, this is a tutorial and it's more of a pilot really. I apologise for the audio slightly out of sync, but because of how warm it is at the moment I've had to have my window open, so I'm using a different program to record the audio than normal, so I'm going to sync it up instead of it doing it automatically for me. CIS have sent in a column of spider walkers, get to the ATT e clone and make it fast. Right, so now I've got to get in and this thing, whatever it was called. Now take one of those walkers down. Take out spider walkers. It's an attack. Is it an attack? I don't remember. Right, so now I'm controlling this thing. Yeah, just checking. I was. And the little like orange bit going around where I'm shooting is my gun overheating. So this, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just sort of explaining how the game works to people because. I don't know, I struggle to remember half the stuff in it. And then once we've done the tutorial, the, like this let's play of the series will get underway properly and it'll just be me playing the game and not explaining everything. Alright, just let the gun cool down and then just finish it off. Nicely done. Use a command post to switch to the Jet Trooper class. I'll try and remember to be quiet so you can hear what's going on. So, I've got to get over here. Switch to a jet... Tr oh, gosh. Got sniped in the face. Huh. Alright. Jet trooper. Now use your jump jets to get up there and acquire that holocron. And bring it back to checkpoint alpha. Press space twice to fly. And space again to cancel fly. Alright, where is it? I'm going over here. Alright. Press shift to run. So yeah, you're getting the idea of the basics here. Oh, we need to get up onto there. We get a holocron. Guess it's got any cool secrets. 
Got a bit of like a grenade launcher on this class, I think. It's I don't know, it's not really a grenade launcher, that's the only thing you could you could make it similar to. Oh. Sniped again. Huh. This game's harder than I remember. But I don't know if I've ever played the tutorial before. Must have existed on PlayStation 2. But yeah, it's like a flag, I suppose, this holocron. Yeah, I hope I'm saying that right. Not offending all the Star Wars hardcore fans. Alright, so I've got to get up here. Get this. Then run away. Deposit it down here. I don't think there's much more tutorial to do, if I remember correctly. Get up there and take over that post. It will give us a strong vantage point on the battlefield. Right, now I'm gonna capture a new point. You just really, on this game, capture points to give yourself a team an advantage and generally kill the other team, but because it's a tutorial, it's working quite different to normal. You know, it's really just explaining stuff and there's no real plot or that much action, really. Just reload. Oh, damn. This isn't the best gun to have. Right, now I'm capturing it, as you can see from the little blue thing going up. Hopefully there's not much more left of this tutorial, so, so we can get into some decent gameplay. But if you like this kind of thing and you want to see it more, make sure to like this video so I get an idea of how many of my fans actually like it and aren't just viewing it because it's a video by me. Oh, sh... Right. Now I'm meant to be a sniper. So it's got two kinds of zoom. You can zoom in a little or zoom in a lot. And I've missed my first shot. Sniping was one of my favourite things to do on this game because it's it's a good game for it, but I don't know, it's a bit it's a bit different with a mouse. I think I've got mine a little too sensitive. Really for sniping. Gosh, this one behind me here. How do I change that's how I change weapon? Take him out. Alright, switch it round. He's shooting me. No. Oh. Just one I was being shot. Took him out. I guess I'm just trying to thin enemy forces at the moment. The yep. spider walkers are tearing us to ribbons. Get to a CP and switch to the heavy trooper class. Yeah, I think the game should show me all the classes. After heavy trooper, I think that's it, other than maybe Jedi. So maybe I'm a Jedi next. One of those spiders a taste of some heavy fire. Right, so, if I remember correctly, it drops slightly. Yep, a little bit of drop. So we'll take this out. So yeah, you get to see all the classes in this game. I mean, the standard class is what I'll generally be playing as, but obviously, like you've seen, engineers are good for repairing stuff, snipers are good for, you know, staying out of action and taking people out, assuming, assuming no one ever spots you. Uh, but the AI sometimes do spot you on this game, they're not that stupid, really. And then I, f I hope it shows me Jedi next, as I never played through this whole tutorial. I just played through like the first few se few minutes to check it worked before doing this recording. So I've got a rough idea what I'm meant to do, but I didn't die at all when I played through it before. And now I'm recording, I'm dying. <laughs> so I'm not normally this terrible. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can finish off this spider walker. Don't really need to scope, but you know, it's more realistic to scope. What you do if you're really shooting a spider walker down. Not that they're real. <laughs> Alright, that's that taken out. Has on the yep, Jedi field. time. A lightsaber will come in handy against these droids. Let's knock down the CIS reinforcements a bit. I've got a kill. What's this all about? What was meant to be? I press F1 to accept. There we go. Oh, it's third person as a Jedi. Oh. I'm sure I'll get used to being third person for a bit. So I've got to kill 10 people, and then I'd imagine that's it for the tutorial. Well, it's droids, not people, isn't it? But you know. You get what I mean. Sorry if you can hear me clicking, but my microphone is a touch sensitive. But hopefully I can try and edit that a little quieter. Oh, 
Oh, I can throw it, nice. That's pretty cool. See if I can take two out, yep. He just block a lightsaber, surely not. CIS back. Take over their bunker to the north. Oh no, I've got to capture another bunker now as a, a Jedi, I guess. I think the Jedi, the, if I'm correct, the little lightsaber is how long you can play as him as, and it like increases. Your lightsaber gets bigger as such for the more kills you get. No innuendo intended there. But you know, you've got to, you've got to keep your lightsaber long, I suppose, you know, make it... It's like a timer, to some extent, really. I don't know how to say this without sounding wrong. Yeah, but the longer the lightsaber is, the longer you are a Jedi. As you can see as I'm killing people, I think it's going up. Or at least not going down. Oh nice, took two out with one throw. This was actually one of my favourite things to do when I played before. Get double kills. Yep, so that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and make sure you tune in next time for the next part of the campaign on this game. Actually, I just thought I'd throw in my scores from the, in the end of the game. I got 97 points, you get them for like capturing stuff and kills and whatnot. Uh, 43 kills, 2 deaths, which is a bit annoying, and 1 flag capture, which was that little orb thing, I can't remember the name of it. So yeah, you generally do go positive on this game unless you're playing online against other people, in which case... I'd imagine you might not go positive. <laughs>